crime that's been called the city's most gruesome murder. 22 years ago, Tyrone Thies gunned down three women at a gas station, and he's been on the run ever since. Now, those women's family have not spoken publicly since then. Until now, you'll hear their plea and see the evidence police are sharing for the first time in this edition of Coin 6 Unsolved. We're all here for the same reason. Under the cover of darkness. Because we're all family. A group gathers in Gresham to shine light on the crime some here think has long gone cold. This is the first time that somebody has been interested in um, even doing anything about the case. I called Rose Smeltzer last month to talk about her mother 22 years after she was killed. She was really a happy person. Um, she would do anything for anybody. In 1994, 51-year-old Rosalie Gertz worked at the Leathers Oil Company gas station, an abandoned building now on the city's east side that was crawling with cops on January 17th. But I just remember them saying, um, Rosalie is gone. And I said, gone where? Where'd you go? She's dead. Gresham police say Tyrone Thies shot Rosalie and two other workers, Kay Endicott and Mary Beth Carey. I worry that he might hurt somebody else because what's to stop him? Rosalie's sister still wants answers. How did he get away so easily without even being seen? You know, somebody had to have helped him. Because the now 42-year-old suspect has never been seen again. Where is he? That's the million dollar question. Officer John Rasmussen says the department received its latest tip just six months ago. The evidence on the table here is, is only a small portion of what was collected that day. This evidence has never been seen before. There's a strong case against Tyrone. Pieces of a puzzle that also haven't uncovered many answers. Do you think they've forgotten about the case? The police? I don't think they ever forget about a cold case. I think it just sits in their car and just eats away at them. They want to do their job. They want to find this man. Police say thieves skipped town a few days after the shooting at the gas station. They showed me these crime scene photos for the first time. Thies worked with the victims here, but quit when he was suspended for stealing. After police say he killed them, Thies stole thousands more dollars, and his cousin, Larry Scherf, was in the getaway car that Lori Stevens was driving. You're a very evil person, because only evil does something like that. Charlene's harsh words for the man accused of killing her sister. That's how she was, always smiling and happy. Are replaced with beautiful pictures. Her eyes stand out. Of a person she says can still light up the darkness that gripped her family so long ago. If he's alive, let him answer for it. Let him go through the court process if he chooses. Um, you know, it's, it's not a given that he would be found guilty, but it's a given that he needs to come forward. And a couple other notes. Two years after the crime, a passerby found skeletal remains near the Troutdale Airport. The medical examiner even asked for thesis dental records, but forensic studies would later determine it wasn't him. Also, Larry Scherf and Lori Stevens were arrested not long after that murder. They served 10 years in prison. Larry was not home when I went to talk to him, and Lori denied my interview request. But if you know anything about this cold case, call Gresham's tip line at 503-618-2719.